Thanks so much for your company this morning. Broadcaster and award-winning novelist Karen Hay is with us now to tell us about her latest book, Winged Helmet, White Horse. It's great to have you back on the show. Yeah, I'm here. I can't believe it's two years since I was here last. I know, with your last book. Mm -hmm. And um, your last book was historical fiction. A lot of research goes into that, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. this one's a bit different. Quite a bit different in many ways. <laughs> 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 so before we talk about this one, Karen, I just wanted to say congrats because that book, of The March of the Fox Gloves, went on to be a Kiwi bestseller. Did you ever imagine when you were writing it it would reach those giddy heights? Not at all. I don't think when you're writing anything you, you're projecting that far ahead. In fact, you know, I often think when I've finished a book, somebody's going to read this now. <laughs> <laughs> and all I need is just one person to read it. But that oh, must but with a bit of horror. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number one bestseller, though, that must have made you feel pretty good. It was good. Yeah, nice. It was great, with the help from a lot of people. Now, I was reading that, you know, yeah, you've been a, a well-known broadcaster for music, but actually, is writing your real first love, is that what you wanted to do? Yes, I, I do um, them parallel to each other, obviously, but definitely writing has always been a love of mine, yeah. It's just that I got a bit swamped with the whole television celebrity culture of the time, because uh, I was on television in the 80s, and yeah, and it sort of took away the focus from actually writing. So you were a writer of commercials, weren't you, when you first started in yes, radio? So the writing's obviously been with you the whole way. Were you good at English or something at school, or did you just have this natural ability to create? It was the only class that I got an A in, I have to say, Mike. Similar, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got an S in something yeah. else, possibly so maths. How did you go from writing commercials to actually being on the radio? Because it's, it's a, quite a jump. Uh, I had a nervous breakdown, to tell you the truth, and uh, I walked out of radio because it was just too overwhelming for me, the, my lifestyle at the time too, and uh, <laughs> I was bribed back into the job by the station manager at Radio Hauraki at the time, and he said, look, come back and we'll give you this, this and this, and, and he also made it very easy for me to come back. So I went on air doing uh, what they call Midnight to Dawn, and then I went on from 7 till 10. That's where all good people start, eh, Mike? Yeah, that's that's right. where you started. <laughs> it is. Well, I'm pleased you're writing books now, because, you know, if we go back to the Hubert Church Best First Book Award in 2001, this is what you won, but it was under the name Lee Maxwell. So were you shy? Did you want to write it without publishing that it was you? Why did you choose to write it under a name? It was under my own name in New Zealand, and right. it was under Lee Maxwell and the rest of the world because uh, those are my middle names. Oh, right. And uh, when I went to the UK, I had the focus on me for so long in terms of being on television uh, that I just wanted to change my name and become anonymous. So right. I decided to choose my middle names, which was actually a big mistake because it took so long to untangle myself when I wanted to uh, travel and do anything of that nature. Uh, changing your name is not as easy as it sounds. Even if it is your mid, they are your middle names. Right. Right. Can we talk about your new book? Because um, really fascinating. It's, it's a bit of a psychological drama, a bit of horror in there, you know. Tell us about oh. it. <laughs> 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 no sci-fi. Uh, well, why don't you read the back of it? Or I could. <laughs> Do you want me to read the blue? I'll read the back of it. Okay. There you go. Uh, Set in contemporary London, Winged Helmet White Horse is a darkly comic psychological drama. Tim has mastered the art of subordination to his job, his wife and even his daughter. Having written one critically acclaimed book of poetry, he is struggling to write a second while his wife, Natasha, who is into positive affirmations and spending money, has plans of her own. As Tim stumbles through the social landscape of suburban London, trying to give up alcohol and gain some control over his life, well, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? He makes several disturbing discoveries, ultimately concluding that he is not in control of anything and that it's been a terrible, deadly illusion. Brilliant. There you go. Is it harder writing a book that's based on sort of fictional history, like you, the last book, or is it easy writing a book like this where you can just create whatever you want in your mind? But different disciplines. Right. Yeah. The, um, the research, as you say, yeah. involved in making something sure that something is authentic is, is enormous. Uh, and for this, because it's a landscape I know in a time that I live in, uh, that makes it an <laughs> awful lot easier. Um, but on the other hand, uh, the main character is a middle-aged man, I'm not, uh, I don't think I am. And what, 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 <laughs> I know, what, what research did you do for that? Life. Life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm interested to know why you did that, because you know, it's, it's a book about an author, 
uh, you, you could have easily just chosen it to be you, couldn't you? It's not about me. I think people make the mistake of thinking, you know, you write a book and it's about you. Right. It's fiction. And I have to keep reminding uh, several people close to me that it's fiction. Right. <laughs> it's not about you, yeah? So no. they'll be reading it thinking, really, Karen, is that what happened? It's um, fiction. Yeah, no, no, I love it. And, you know, it's going to be another bestseller in New Zealand. So please, you're writing. You. you know, just so good. I think it'd make an amazing film. So, yeah, oh. I, I, I love it. It's a bit big brotherish, isn't it? As well. <laughs> so, Karen Hayes' latest book, Winged Helmet, White is available now. Go get it!